Hello everybody, let's get straight to it. In this video, I wanted to walk you through a new functionality that became available in uh, Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operation Platform Update 25. And that functionality is called Client Alert Notifications by Email. We all know that alerts, change-based alerts or time-based alerts came back recently in Dynamics 365. So now to build on top of that framework, Microsoft allows you to actually generate an email notification whenever the record is being modified, deleted, or added. So this is a functionality that we will review in this video. So the first thing that we need to do here is to actually create an alert rule. In the second part, we will execute a periodic job to generate the notifications. And in the third and final part, we'll actually take a look at the email that got generated. So I will type in in a search box here alerts and I will, for example, look at the alerts rules. Here I see all the existing alerts that I can either delete or modify. If I would like to create a new alert, I have to actually go into the form where I will create it. In this case, I will create an alert rule for my credit limit change on the customer record. So I will navigate to accounts receivable, or you can go to a sales and marketing, click on all customers. So that will open the form with all the customers in it. The next step, I will have to click on the options tab here on the top and then click on create a custom alert. When you do that, you will see a new dialogue window popping up on the right hand side. Uh, the framework here of how you create a rule basically remains the same. So you need to select the table for which you're defining that new rule. Then you have to select whether it is for a specific field on the customer table or for all the fields. In our example, we're actually gonna go and do it for the credit limit. So I'm gonna just search credit limit. And then you have to define the event, whether or not the credit limit has been changed, decreased, increased, or set to a specific amount. So let's say I will keep it generic and say credit limit has been changed. Alert me for all the customers, all the records and customers or a specific or selected customer record. So I will keep it to all. There will be no end date to my alert. And that's where the difference actually comes in. You will see now that send email option that is by default turned off. So we have to turn it on. It is automatically populated by the email address that is linked to my user account. So I don't have to tap it in. But if I would like to change it to something else, you can do it right here. And then we're just going to create the rule. So basically that completes the first step. We have defined the rule. Now we have to actually go and generate an event that will trigger that alert. So I can open any custom record here. For example, I'll wholesaler. I will click into edit. I will navigate into credit and collections. And let's say I will change that credit limit from 1 million to 2 million. So you made the change, we close the form that will automatically save the record. It's gonna pop up the recalculate credit limit check, which is a separate from what we're trying to do here. So once we save that change, we expect an alert to be generated, but because it's not a real time, we have to actually go and run a periodic job. In this case, I will run it manually just for this demonstration, but in many cases, you may want to set up a uh, periodic job that runs every now, every hour, every three minutes, every 10 minutes that will go and generate alerts based on your change based alert rules or the time based. So for us to do that, I will have again, I will use the search box again and I will click on the change based alerts, which are, which are located under system administration periodic tasks. So this is a periodic job that you can run in a background by setting up parameters right up here. In this case, I will execute it <coughs> manually. So number one thing that you will see in the client itself after some time passes is if you click on that bell, you will get a notification that says field credit limit in table customers has been changed a few seconds ago. And number two, of course, is the email notification that just popped up right here in the bottom right corner. If I open it, you will see a fairly simple template message addressed to myself. Field credit limit and table customer has been changed without much details except for the customer account as well as the customer name. And if you go back to the article that is uh, written and actually is available on docs.microsoft.com, you will see there are several templates depending on which 
event actually had happened, whether the record was created right here, field has changed or record deleted. So that is all for now. Until the next time.